Hey, hello, it's Rebecca. Yeah, I know, I kind of just do these videos wherever I'm at, but it doesn't matter where I'm at or what the background is. What matters is the message. So, the message that I'm getting today is that, um, well, first I'm going to start with how I'm feeling. I don't know about you guys, but it's been a rough last few days, week, or week, and it's been like, like I said, going through a wormhole. <laughs> Who am I? Where am I? What am I doing? Why does my body hurt? Um, why do I feel so confused? Why is all this external chaos happening in my life? And so anyway, today is the first day that it's starting to feel a lot better. Um, one thing I did go to the chiropractor yesterday and that helped a lot took a hot salt bath and um, definitely feeling much better but um, so I'm feeling now that there's something that I'm supposed to remember I feel like there's something from my past some kind of passion something I was excited about that I'm supposed to remember what that is and start taking action on it again and I have many, many things that I, that I was passionate about years ago. And then what also came up was that sometimes we go through periods of growth that can take years before we're really ready to do what we want to do. So we need more experience. Uh, we need to grow more before we can actually do it. I remember long ago, years ago, when I first became a life coach, that I wanted to do seminars. Like, I wanted to be a motivational speaker and do seminars, like teaching. Um, so, I actually did it, too. I, I did it in a couple places locally. And a few people showed up and then I just didn't do it anymore. I don't know what it was. I needed to build more confidence, needed to get more experience. But I'm really feeling like that's what it is. That's what I want to do again. And um, at least that's one of the things. More in-person stuff. I got away from it for a while. I was doing in-person ceremonies, medicine wheels, full moon, new moon. I was doing all kinds of stuff. I was running my own business. I was very successful doing vortex tours in Sedona, shamanic vortex tours, um, and shamanic journeys, in-person shamanic journeys. And I just, I don't know, like over the years, it felt like I, I lost confidence or something happened. I'm not sure guys, but Anyway, I feel like I'm supposed to remember that and bring it back up to the surface and um, start taking action on it again. And then of course, I've, I've learned a lot since then and I've had a lot of experience since then. And you guys know about my, my book that I published, The Soul Detective. Years and years of practice of soul retrieval and then to teach you know people how to heal themselves through this technique, emotional release technique, ERT. And then I have an online course that I put out there. It's, it's a full course in how to uh, become an ERT specialist. And it includes a full core life coaching program. And soul retrieval and how to do shamanic journeying, how to do um, guided meditation there's there's a lot in the course it's 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 everything that I've learned and created packed into one online course that you work at your own pace so if you're interested in that um, that's what I'm going to be teaching more of and teaching a lot of it through the Facebook group Rebecca Sage training if you haven't joined that group yet um, definitely go check that out if you're on Facebook and um, the videos will be also on my YouTube channel, but the training is what I'm going to be doing a lot of in person. I just ordered a box of my books to bring to the online tr or to the live training, and um, 
they haven't gotten here yet because when you're an author it takes longer for them to get printed and shipped to you uh, so I'm waiting for that and then I'm just gonna start locally and doing live presentations in person and then um, online as well and then hopefully go global and live the dream that I that I was looking at you know years ago in 2007 2008 um, so anyway, I just wanted to bring that message through. It does. I feel better. It feels like there's something that, um, there's more to it. There's more that I'm supposed to remember. And I'm also feeling like reaching out to people again and, um, getting in contact with, with some old friends, some old people that, not old, but, uh, people from the past that I haven't connected with in a while and reconnect and, um, collaborate and um, see what that's all about. So remembering a passion from the past, reigniting a passion from the past, and reconnecting and collaborating with, um, with people from the past. So I feel like we're finally coming out of the shift that the intensity of the full moon, the full wolf moon, and the beginning of the year, which really doesn't matter that January 1st is the beginning of the year. Um, in many different cultures, the beginning of the year is, is different, you know, like on the solstice and stuff, but it can seem like that for us because it's a collective consciousness belief that the beginning of the year is the beginning, you know, January 1st is the beginning. But I'm feeling more like this, this time right now is a time of remembering what makes us happy It's and, and do more of that. I know in my last video I talked about the same thing, but whatever's coming up is what I'm going to talk about. <laughs> so, um, so... We're at seven minutes. I'm trying to keep all my videos under 10 minutes too, but I'm trying to do more and more videos so that they're not too long. And, um, and, and that, you know, they're just packed full of information and, um, and sharing with you guys the energies that I'm feeling and helping to explain, you know, what's going on. And so just know that we're not the only ones going through this. There's other people going through it too. And so they might be acting out of character or uh, more emotional than normal. But just don't look too deep into it right now. If it's your loved ones, people you live with, um, relatives, just, just hold space. What I mean by holding space is just stay neutral. Don't judge them. Don't react. Um, just just hold a space of care and compassion and gentleness with them no matter how they're acting and it's hard for us to do that when we're going through it too it's like we want someone to do that for us but we we can do this for ourselves we don't need other people to do that for us so um so anyway yeah be gentle do some meditation do some remembering Write down some different things, pull out some old notes, journals, whatever it is. Look back a few years ago in what it is that you were wanting to do or work on and, um, and see if it's, it reignites a passion in you. And um, let me know in the comments what that is. I'm curious. You know what it is for me. <laughs> and um, moving forward. Whatever you do, you'll know what to do because of how you feel. Your body will tell you what to do based on how you feel. Physical sensations and emotional feelings. So physical and emotional. Seen and unseen, right? The balance of both. So focus on that and um, that will guide you in what to do next no matter what's coming up for you. Don't be tricked into... Uh, going back into the old paradigm it feels like we're sort of being pulled well it feels like I am like I'm trying to leave the old paradigm and it's trying to pull me back in so all we got to do is really look at things from a different pr perspective and hold boundaries based on your own integrity 
your worth, your value, and move forward from there. So thank you for watching this video. I love you all, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Have a wonderful day. Mwah.